All right, Bethany, how you doing today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Glad to have you on Perception TV. Yeah, You're one of the first you. models that I got on the channel. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so you told me you grew up in Mississippi. Tell me a little about that. Um, I grew up in Calhoun City. I have six other siblings, so I'm the middle child. I'm the youngest of the girls. Um, I have four other brothers, so growing up with both sets, it's a mess. <laughs> I get to see a lot. I get to experience a lot. Yeah. Um... But it was really, I'm going to be honest, all my life I watched my family struggle. It was, I'm sure it was very hard to take care of seven kids. So we didn't always get to do or experience a lot of stuff that people around me did. Mm -hmm. um, I always dreamed of it though, so I think that's why I am. Um, that's what's made me like this now with the modeling. I want to take it as far as I can because I never, once I got older, I really realized what you can do outside of the town that you grew up in. Right. Okay. Yeah, kind of like you realize, like, even though you came from, like, a smaller town, like, you know, you, you got older and you can see, like, you can, nothing is stopping yeah, you. Yeah, the world is really big. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, tell me a little about um, who or what motivated you to start your modeling career. Um, well, actually, it was, it was kind of just a personal thing. I don't really know. I didn't know a lot of people at the time that were modeling. So start when I first got started out, it was hard to find people that related to what I was trying to do. Um, I quit school my senior year, and I actually didn't get my diploma until mm -hmm. last year when I moved to Kansas with my older sister. Okay. And I woke up one day. It was really funny because it was kind of random. And I woke up one day, and I was like, you know what? I'm submitting to modeling agencies today. So I found an agency, and when I told my sister about it, it was funny because she was not with it. She wasn't <laughs> with it with it being so instant. Yeah. Like, that's what had got her. She was like, so you just woke up and wanted to be a mom. It, it just, just came wanted. to you. And I was babysitting for her, so that was going to intervene with the babysitting schedule. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have. So <laughs> I still went and did it anyways. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't a bad experience that I had, but for one lesson that I learned for all the models out there, you're not supposed to pay to sign, to join with an agency first hand. Um, I got thrown out a lot of money with that agency. <laughs> I wound up having a family emergency. I signed with that agency in September or so in, um, well, towards the end of September, I actually had a family emergency. I had to move back to Mississippi, so I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to keep the modeling up because I knew I didn't know anyone down here uh -huh. that did it. And um, I moved back, and I was right about everything that I thought. <laughs> I was not able to do the back and forth from Kansas to Mississippi, um, so I just stopped. I took a break. Uh, that kind of put me in a depressed mode because I felt like I had lost the one thing that I really just wanted to do. Um, and then I met my photographer, Mr. Jason Collins. He wound up, in, he found me on Facebook actually and sent me a message wanting to shoot me and he has shot my entire portfolio. Um, not only that, he's taught me so many things that I didn't learn when I was in Kansas. Um, so I'm very grateful for him. And he was the one person that really just motivated me, him and his wife as well, because she's shot me and she's so great. Um, both of them have taught me how far you can take something, like especially with watching them in this photography business. They have everything that they have set for themselves, they've done, and it's so great to have that type of motivation. So. Okay, so everything kind of happened, yes. and it still turned out good it, for you, even though you had to move back. Out. Okay, okay. That's that's weird how stuff happened like that. <laughs> Everything happened for a reason. Yes. Um, just starting out, so you told me you said you kind of just woke up with that idea. Right. What steps did you take from that from that moment? Like from when you woke up and had the idea. Like what steps to get started and like to put yourself uh, out there? Google. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Google. So Google told me to find an agency, build a portfolio. Um. Create a name for yourself, create your own website, but man, it was not that simple <laughs> at all. Because with the 
building a portfolio and then signing with an agency, mm-hmm. it is hard to get signed. I, to this day, I'm still an unsigned model. I am um, freelance right now, and it's, it's good to work on your own because you get to fi- figure out what you want to do, what you like to do, and what you don't. But with the agencies, you get to experience a lot more. Okay. Um, so I was expecting to sign with the agency and then take off and start <laughs> traveling and doing jobs. And nope. I sat on my butt for months with no job. I didn't get any bookings and I was so upset. And then I started doing the, because during, when I wasn't working, I was expecting those jobs to come without building that portfolio. Mm-hmm. I didn't build my portfolio until June of 2021. I started following in September 2020. Okay. So I found my book for months and I knew it was what I wanted to do, but I didn't, I, at first I was not following all of the steps that I needed to take <laughs> because um, of the financial situation, um, the mental, it was it was hard to convince myself that I could do everything at first. It, it took a long time. All hands go to God for that because it's all Him. Yeah. yeah. Google don't usually tell you the, the in between steps. It they just give you that. Yeah, <laughs> Google miss me. Okay, <laughs> what are your uh, since you've been since you've been starting though? Uh, what are some of your favorite types of shoots to do or something that you've already done? I love editorial. Gotcha. Love editorial. Um, commercial, it's awesome. But I, I love the portfolio shoots, honestly. Just being able to come up with my own idea of something that I want, want to do. Um, I actually have a shoot that I will be releasing the content to soon, and it's Marilyn Monroe themed. Mm. So I got to impersonate her, and it was so fun. It was awesome. So I can't wait to show y'all those. Yeah, that one sounds like it's going to be great. Um... Do you have any favorite models that you kind of like look at their work and kind of take tips from <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. And I've taken a big liking into Megan Fox. She is awesome. Um, but Zendaya, yeah, I've watched her since she was on the Disney Channel. So <laughs> I really love her work. Um, seeing how far she's gone, she's on so many magazine covers, and I actually. I'm looking up an idea of hers now that I think I want to try to impersonate. So. Okay, okay. What is it like preparing for a shoot? Is it stressful at all? Or you, what do you do to get into your zone when, mm-hmm. when it's time for a shoot? For me, it's kind of exciting because it may not be like that for every model. I mean, you really have to love what you do. But yeah, on my shoot days, I wake up. I make sure, well, really the night before, I, I try to make sure I have everything. Um, like, for example... A shoot that I did last weekend I had to have um, a nude bralette set and, and mm-hmm. a black one I didn't have the nude so gotcha. I was last minute getting all of that and that was probably the most stressful thing I've ever done is waiting last minute to yeah. do something I was like this <laughs> right here is the reason why I always plan ahead um, make sure you have all of your stuff to the model yeah, pack your model bag seriously <laughs> um, but on I've never really just had hectic days unless I have to travel somewhere. Okay. And then I stress my own self out with that <laughs> because I'm horrible with the GPS. So. Oh, yeah, just the traveling and navigating. Yeah. Uh, as far as, like, the prep, like, doing your hair and makeup, is that, do you do it or do you have people that? Um, Usually the jobs that I book, they cover the hair and the makeup. I just have to show up with a clean face and, okay. yeah, hair tied up or washed and, What's the toughest part about being a um, independent freelance model? Not making money. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm serious. All the work that you do, um, I guess you just really have to see the brighter side in it to keep the pace going because um, doing all of the work and then not getting any money coming in behind it, you're kind of like, dang, am I worth the money mm. or do they not want to pay me? But once you get that experience, set your prices and be firm about them. I I was just given that advice last weekend, and I applied that to myself. And um, 
it really makes a world of difference once you know what you're capable of. Um, it can be hard working without getting the income in, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the end because the more experience that you get and the more exposure that you get, the more people are going to want you. So if, and if they don't want to book you for a job, you're just not their client. <laughs> Do you have a workout routine that you necessarily stick to or is it everything natural for you? Um, well, the, the shape comes natural. I've never just really um, been able to gain a lot of weight, so I really haven't, I don't have that problem yet. <laughs> I don't know about when I get older. Um, but I do like to work out because I really love the thought of being active. Um, your health is everything in the modeling industry. You're going to have to work and stand up for hours, so you need to make sure that you have um, everything, all of, what is the word that I'm looking for? Stamina? You need to make sure that you have all of the stamina that you need yeah. um, to complete the job that you're doing because it's not just standing and looking pretty all the time. Drink water. I cannot stress that enough. Y'all, I used to love Dr. Pepper. Seriously. And I used to not drink any water. And once I started exercising and going to the track, I was like, I'm gonna fall out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like this is this is hard. I couldn't even. I'm gonna be honest. I tried to. I took probably like 30, 30 steps before I lost my breath, <laughs> and I was tired. And I was like, "Oh man, I'm so out of shape. This is ridiculous." How the aspiring models at this? Stay hydrated. <laughs> yes, please stay hydrated and exercise. Well, I don't care if it's just a walk around the block. Like. It, and it does your mental health good to wake up early in the morning, like before the sun comes up. Beat the sun. I can't stress that enough. It, it's always going to give you an extra prep in the day um, to have that energy and knowing that you're really getting up and you're working for something that you want to do. Gotcha. Does, um, does your career get in the way of your personal life? Yeah, and how do you balance that with your, you know, just hanging out with friends? And oh, just... oh. Um, I'm not going to say that it has just affected me personally, but I know y'all have all heard the saying, elevation requires separation. So, if you're anything like me, growing up, I, I lived the basic lifestyle of running around with my cousins and being around friends all the time and, um, some of those people that I chose to be friends with weren't the best friends that I needed. So I'm going to be honest, I got off to a wrong start. My teenage years were my wild years. And <laughs> they were my lesson years, definitely. They taught me everything. Um, I made a lot of bad decisions. I did a lot of things that I shouldn't have. And I let people have access to me that I shouldn't have. Um, and the people that you give your energy to, that sticks. <laughs> Soul ties are real. So you, and even, and that's with a friend, with a, a relationship, that's with a parent, because anything, anybody that you're connected to, they have an effect on you. So don't be discouraged when you get around people that you know you're not supposed to be around and you tell them, your dream and what you're planning to do and then I know y'all have heard Steve Harvey say that uh, stop telling small minded people your big dreams because they'll kill it every time and there's nothing but truth to that statement um my I had I always thought that I had the friends that supported me and then I changed my friends and I met this girl from Tupelo that I was working with and she, me and her clicked instantly. Like mm -hmm. it was crazy. And she was, she is probably the brightest person that I know, honestly. Um, and meeting her, she wanted to start her own, her own business and meeting her, she was working a full-time job. We were on night shift. So we worked 545 to 745 in the morning. Um, she was the first friend that I had that I was able to just seriously watch her chase her own dreams. Uh -huh. She had decided, and we had talked about this, and of course I was encouraging her, um, 
I love the idea of her just putting something in her mind and then taking off with it. And she she literally showed me how to do that because at that time I wasn't doing any work with the modeling and um she started her own feminine skincare line. Well, I'm not gonna say skincare because her soap does help with the skin though. Yes. Um it's called Jolly Bee Essentials and she also does um steams and that's for women's health and uh, her name for that is Goddess Guru, so I really got to, I loved watching her set those goals for herself, and she actually turned 23, turns 23 today, so happy birthday, Keith. Um, she set those goals for herself, and that was the first friend that I had that I just knew, man, I want to keep her around, because, and, and what sucked for me I had those friends in my life that didn't support me, so I didn't know how to support her. Yeah. So she actually, there, there was a situation that we had where she felt like I was not supporting her. Yeah. And I swear, all of me on the inside was screaming, go key, but outside it was so hard for me yeah, to put no, that out because I did not, I didn't know how. I didn't have the friends that supported me like that. So I, I knew how to, but I, I wasn't staying consistent with it. So she felt like I was, you know, sometimey. But then we got back on one page and I started taking off with my model mm -hmm. and she's done nothing but support me in that. So I was like, man, I'm so glad to have you. And um, be honest, she's probably like the only friend that I do have now that I just talk mm -hmm. to a lot. Yes. Um, all of my old friends though, they're, they just, those friendships just don't serve me anymore oh, in my sure. career they don't understand what i'm really trying to do and they they're not i'm not saying that they have to benefit to it but i want people around me i'm not i don't want you in my life because of what you can do for me but i want you to support what i'm doing and i want you to be on the same page that i am yeah. um so it was that was probably one of my biggest obstacles in life is letting go of the people that you've known your whole life um but I swear it's one of the best things that I've done because now, right now I'm in the middle. I feel like I have a double life. I feel like yeah. I have my home life and then I go, I get up and I go to work and I start modeling and okay. I'm like, man, this is the person that I want to be. So I have a lot of people that are around me and they're like, oh, why do you talk so proper now? <laughs> why are you, you going to take off, ain't it? Like, it's always a lot. Um, but I always want everyone to just be proud of me because I was not always like this. I didn't always have this bright mindset and the motivation to go as far as I want with it because at one point in time, I mean, just not too long ago, I wasn't doing anything at all. And I was yeah. like, oh, well, a job will come when it comes. You have to work for it. <laughs> you have to get up and do all of the work and sometimes still not get a job, but you still have to you still have to keep it going because it's going to come for you. Okay, definitely having positive people around. Yes, and have people that motivate you and support you.